Okay, so let's do this problem. Okay, so we are given the following information with two different investment accounts. Okay, so there is the dollar weighted, uh, money weighted of K equaling the time weighted of L. Okay, so we could just start with the, uh, the dollar weighted of return equation. We could do, uh, first we need to find the interest earned. So we do that by doing 100, the beginning balance, uh, minus the withdrawals of X, minus, uh, plus 2X deposit. Uh, e, uh, plus interest, which what we need to find uh, equals to the last value of 125, right? So now we subtract 100 by both, and then we combine these and we find out that the interest equals 25 minus X. Now we have to solve the denominator. So it always starts with the initial value then the withdrawal of X times the amount of uh, months that have not elapsed. So X occurs at July 1st, which means six months have elapsed. So there's six months left here. Then there's a deposit of two X, which occurs at October. So then that means that there is three months left. And now we can solve. So we know that, well, um, we multiply 2, 3, 6, 12. So we notice that these cancel out. So the time weighted dollar return, I mean, the dollar rate return is this value. Now let's do time weighted. So time weighted, it starts with the 100. Then the ending balance is 100, right? Then there's a new initial balance of 125. Then a withdrawal of X occurs. So then the balance in that year is now 25 minus X. Now, the beginning balance then becomes 105.8. And so the ending balance is 105.8. Now we can make a time dollar weighted equation. So we circle these, we circle that. Then we make the equation of 125 out of 100 uh, times 105.8 over 125 minus x equal to 1 plus i. Now let's solve for i here. here. So we know that 125 times 105.8 is 13225. We also know that if we combine this, it would turn out to be 12500 minus 100x. Then we subtract one to the other side. So then I equals this. So now we can take this equation and make it equal to this now. Because the problems say that they're equal to each other. So let's say erase some sorts of things. Right. Now let's set these equal to each other. Okay, now first let's combine the negative one to this, right? So it would just end up being, well, we could just make, we could just add one to this side since this appears to already be a huge fraction. So we'll do 25 minus X over 100 plus one. which equals to 
125. Oh, no, this isn't a one. This is a 25 minus x, which will equal to Twenty five minus one hundred. What is twenty five minus one hundred? It would be negative seventy five minus x over one hundred. Okay. And there it is, uh, 100, 100. Oh, wait a minute, this is 25 minus x plus 100, my bad. So it'd be, um, sorry, 125 minus x, yes, sorry about that. Now, we got rid of this, now let's set it all equal to each other. So, we now know that we need to cross multiply, right? So. Right, these two factions, right? So let's do this 125 times. Uh -huh. So 125 times this one is uh, 1562500. Five, then minus 125. 100. Okay, and then minus one twenty five hundred. And then plus one hundred x squared. Okay, keep so. 25,000 here. Now let's bring this over to the other side. Which it comes out to be 240,000. Now, let's solve for x. So let's erase more of that. Okay, so we know that um, a, well, Let's simplify this. So let's get rid of the zeros here. So we're end up with x squared. Let's get rid of zeros here. So we end up with minus 250x. Then we get rid of this to get 2400. Now let's solve. So uh, a, so we need to put in the quadratic equation formula, right? So B in this case would be negative 250 plus or minus radical B squared minus 4 AC
over 2a. Now it's solved. So let's do what's happening here. So 250 times 250 minus 4 times 2400, which is 52900. Radical that. 230, right? So we'll get 250 plus or minus 230. So, right. So we can add them. We could do 480. You can also subtract them, which is 20, right? Over 2. Now, we could uh, solve them. Just 240 or 10. Now, let's input these values to find i, but we can't use both, so we need to choose one. So if I were to plug in 240, it would give me a negative amount which would make sense. We would, so we would have to input 10, right? So 25 minus 10, which is 15 divided by 100. So then that would give us uh, 15%, which is I. 